let's talk about eighth notes and let's talk about swing and how to swing those eighth notes the first way you usually taught how to swing is to slur everything so let me show you how that would sound <laughs> So I'm going to use the metronome and I'm going to set it at 50 beats per minute. And we're going to use each click as beats two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Mm. That's a simple way, an easy way to get started swinging. A lot of times you're going to see, well, most of the time you're going to sing the swing rhythm, uh, eighth notes, that is written as straight eighth notes you're going to interpret it as a triplet field what do i mean by that if you take an eighth note triplet and you tie the first two triplet eighth notes together and then tongue the next one and tongue the two tied ones that gives you two notes so if you're thinking one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, da, 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 right? So at this tempo, you can create a swing feel by playing this triplet rhythm. Let's move on to the second articulation that you can use. And this is probably the most accepted one that you're going to want to use after you've slurred everything and got the kind of general feel so we're going to slur every other eighth note and that's going to sound like this one two a one two mm. so you want to make sure that you don't put any daylight in between the eighth notes what do i mean by that Try not to go like this. Which is usually what happens when you first start out. Okay? So, the third way of articulating is to tongue every note. This is more difficult because you're going to want to use a da tongue. One, two, oh, one, two, mm. Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm using a da tongue to make all the notes long. The other thing you, you can do to practice getting that swing feel or that lilt, as I call it, is accent the upbeats. One, two, one, two, mm. Okay, you can do all of your eighth notes like that, and it's actually kind of difficult if you're just used to playing classical music because a lot of classical music lands on the beat and you're articul and you articulate the downbeats accented. So it becomes a little more complicated and a little bit different to feel everything syncopated, right? So you can even do the whole scale. Or if you slur um, if you if you slurred every other note. you get faster and faster but start slow so hopefully that will help you swing the other thing you can do is to listen to great trumpet players i would start with louis armstrong why not start with the best then i would move on maybe to roy eldridge dizzy gillespie freddie hubbard miles davis kenny Dorham, lee morgan chet baker blue mitchell and i know i'm leaving out a whole bunch of other trumpet players get a sound for the language get it in your ear right if you wanted to learn Spanish, you go to Spain. You want to learn how to speak Japanese, you go to Japan. All right? You want to speak jazz, you go to jazz. All right? So hopefully that helps.